Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. This video we are going to be following on from the previous one, uh, which is linked on screen now. Uh, and we're going to start working on this lead here that I've created within Serum. So just to quickly walk you through it, I'll just put this to 175 so you can see it clear. We have a basic shape, which is a sine wave. So I wanted to create something very smooth compared to the, the other lead, which sounds like this. Very classic trance-esque. And this one is a lot smoother because uh, of the sine wave. And then I've just picked out a random oscillator here, which is out of the spectral uh, monster. And then I've just picked somewhere in the wavetable that sounded nice, just swept through it. Um, and then we've put this through a filter, which is the MG Low 18. And as you can see, these are the settings. So envelope is set to pluck. Envelope two is set to a longer pluck. So you've got a bit more of a tail. And then that's controlling the cutoff here. And this cutoff is controlling oscillator A and B and the noise filter here. So if uh, I just quickly walk you through what's going on. Uh, if we look at the filter, the noise is adding a little bit of sparkle onto the top to give it a bit more presence uh, when everything else is playing. So if we listen to it and turn it off over here. giving it a little bit of brightness as uh, everything is going on. I've boosted the drive and the, the fat here just to boost it up a little bit uh, in volume. And then that's about it. There is nothing else changed. I just picked that oscillator and that there and then just changed these two envelopes. Connected this envelope here. That's all I've done. Uh, in the effects is where the magic is happening. So hyperdimension is the first one. As you can see, it's set here. There's no retrig on the hyper. And there's a little bit of uh, the dimension on here with quite a large size. So let's just listen to that on its own. So without it. So it helps to create a little bit of a width in the sound before it goes out into the inserts for processing in the mixer. Right, next is the distortion. So it's standard tube, it's the, the whole EQ thing set to off. And then the drive is just set till it so starts to sound like it's biting a little bit. So if any further. just so I can hear that bite starting to happen. Then we go through a delay, so it's uh, set to ping pong. I haven't changed anything at all apart from putting it onto BPM and ping pong. Wanted to keep that simple. Then reverb is set to plate, and then as you can see, I've given it a just above medium size. Uh, the low cut is set to around 10 o'clock because that's where it audibly sounded the best. And then the high cut just tailored so it wasn't too crispy on the top. And it sounds like this. Didn't want it to sound too crispy on the top because it would start to interfere with all the other little aspects that I'm going to be adding in later. And then finally, we have some low detail in there and I wanted to add a bit of crisp after just to beefen it up a little bit. So it really puts it into its own position away from the other melody which is centered around uh, more of the middle of the EQ. And that is everything that is happening within here. So that is a new Serum preset uh, which I will let you have for free as usual. It's in the description so let's call it something in this video. So we'll save it and we're going to call this lead. Ooh, what can we call it? Sinster. Uh, reason for that is it's a sine wave and the monster spectral 
thing. So it's picking parts of the names. That's usually how I work in my mind. So lead sinister, which is a mixture of sign and monster. There you go. You, that's you've, you've seen it here first. And then we have control over the cutoff here. Uh, you can start assigning some mods to there. I'll probably do that now um, so you can see. And then probably in here we could connect that to the gain of this and reduce it back down to uh, zero. Which is about there. Just to control it down. Now you can hardly tell it's moving apart from the, the notes getting longer. Okay, so I'll save that again so you get that there. Yes, I want to replace. There we go. So that is a support lead. We'll focus on mixing the leads together later once I've added some pads and stuff in there. We'll start adding extra instrumentation. I'm going to keep it fairly, fairly simple to create a nice original sounding track. So here we are with the two sounds. Mixed in. So it did sound very bare without it before. Uh, we will beefen up this sound to sound more prominent in the lower parts here because it sounds really nice here. So we will get that working nicely uh, at a later date. So again, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, follow me on the socials and share your thoughts, comments and ideas. I'm always up for doing something different. Uh, and finally, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.